Have you ever seen a creature with five eyes, a mouth that points backward, and a flexible trunk coming out of its face? No, it's not a creature from a movie. It is real. And it lived over 500 million years ago. Meet Opabenia, a prehistoric sea animal that looked so strange that scientists laughed when its fossil was first shown. But this tiny, soft-bodied creature from the Cambrian period is not just weird. It is important. Scientists believe Opabinia may help explain how some of today's most successful animals, like insects, spiders, and crabs, first evolved. And what makes this story even more exciting? We still don't fully understand where it fits in the tree of life. So, what exactly is Opabinia? Why does it have so many eyes? And how did it survive in the ancient oceans? Let's get into one of evolution's strangest mysteries. Our story begins in the Canadian Rockies, in a special place called the Burgess Shale. This area is famous for having some of the best preserved fossils from the Cambrian period over 500 million years ago. These rocks captured the soft bodies of ancient sea animals in incredible detail, something that doesn't happen often. In 1911, a paleontologist named Charles Doolittle Walcott discovered a strange fossil here. He called it Opabinia regalis, after Opabin Pass near where it was found. At first, he thought it might be a type of shrimp or other simple sea creature, but nobody knew what it was. Since then, fewer than 20 good specimens of Opabinia have been found. Only three came from the greater Philippod bed the most famous fossil layer in the Burgess Shale. That means Opabinia was a rare part of this ancient ocean community, making every fossil incredibly valuable. So what made Opabinia so strange that it caused laughter at a scientific meeting? First, it had five eyes. Yes, five. Two were located near the front of the head and two more on long stalks near the back, pointing outwards. One eye sat in the middle. These eyes helped Opabinia see in many directions at once, a helpful skill in the dangerous Cambrian seas. Then there's the trunk, or proboscis. It stuck out from the middle of the face, was flexible like a vacuum hose, and ended in a claw. Scientists think it used this trunk to grab tiny bits of food from the seafloor and pass them to its mouth. Now, the mouth itself adds to the weirdness. It was located under the head and pointed backward, which meant the food had to take a U-turn before it reached the stomach. Its body was long and soft, made up of 15 segments. Each segment had a pair of flaps that pointed downward. These flaps helped Opabinia swim by waving in a rhythm, similar to how some sea slugs move today. The tail ended in three fan-shaped blades that may have helped steer the animal. All this, five eyes, a grabbing trunk, a backward mouth, makes Opabinia one of the weirdest animals ever discovered. But its body also clues us how more familiar animals may have evolved. Now that we know how strange Opabinia looked, how did it live? This creature swam in the shallow seas more than 500 million years ago during the Cambrian period. But unlike fast predators, Opabinia was slow and careful. Scientists believe Opabinia lived on or just above the sea floor. It likely used its flexible trunk to search the mud for small, soft bits of food, maybe dead animals or tiny living creatures too small to fight back. It couldn't bite or chew because its mouth pointed backward and it didn't have teeth or jaws, so it probably sucked up soft food and swallowed it whole. Its body wasn't strong or stiff like a lobster's. Instead, it was soft and flexible. It had no legs, but moved by flapping the lobes along its sides in a wave-like motion. Think of how a stingray glides through water. That's similar to how Opabinia might have swum. There's also a debate about whether it had small, 
fleshy legs under its body. Some scientists think it crawled on the seafloor using stubby little limbs. Others think it only swam slowly above the bottom. Either way, Opabinia was not a strong swimmer. It avoided danger rather than chased it. One of the most confusing parts of Opabinia is its five eyes. Why did it need so many? We still don't know the full answer, but there are some ideas. The different positions of the eyes, some facing forward, others to the side, may have helped Opabinia see all around its body. This would be useful in an ancient ocean full of predators like Anomalocaris, a larger creature that might have eaten animals like Opabinia. Having five eyes could have helped Opabinia look for food while also keeping watch for danger. It's also possible that some of the eyes were better for seeing light and shadow, while others may have focused more clearly on shapes or movement. Interestingly, scientists are not sure if all five eyes were compound eyes like those in modern insects. That means the vision system of Opabinia is still a mystery, just like many other things about this strange animal. Another ancient creature, Anomalocaris, often shows up in the same fossil layers as Opabinia. These two animals had some similar features, like side flaps for swimming, stalked eyes, and unique head structures used for feeding. For a long time, scientists weren't sure if they were related. But over time, more fossils helped tell the story. Now, Experts believe that both Opabinia and Anomalocaris were part of the same larger group that led to today's arthropods, the animals with hard shells and jointed legs, like crabs, spiders, and insects. In fact, a newer fossil called Muridorin may help explain how the weird trunk of Opabinia and the spiny arms of Anomalocaris could have evolved from a common ancestor. This shows us how different forms can grow from the same basic body plan over millions of years. The study of Opabinia and its cousins shows that evolution is not always a straight path. Sometimes, it creates many unusual creatures that branch out, try new things, and sometimes go extinct, leaving behind only fossils and questions. Something unusual happened when the first full study of Opabinia was published in 1975. As scientists examined its strange body, the audience actually laughed. They thought it was a joke. That's how bizarre this animal seemed. But soon, scientists realized this was no mistake. It was a real creature that had survived for millions of years. The discovery forced experts to rethink what they knew about early animals. Before this, Many thought ancient creatures were simple and boring, but Opabinia proved they could be complex and weird, even at the beginning of animal history. This fossil also helped bring attention to the Burgess Shale, a famous fossil site in Canada where many other soft-bodied animals were found. Without Opabinia, the importance of this site might have been missed. Without soft bodies turning into fossils, we would know far less about early life. Opabinia wasn't part of today's animals, and it didn't survive the long road of evolution, but that doesn't mean it wasn't important. This animal is now seen as part of the stem group leading to arthropods. Think of Opabinia as a distant evolutionary cousin that didn't make it, but whose features helped scientists understand how today's animals came to be. Its unique body, like the flaps, the proboscis, and the five eyes, are not found in modern creatures. But they show how early animals tried out many different forms. Some worked well and were passed on through time. Others, like Opabinia's design, were left behind. Still, studying these failed designs teaches us just as much as studying the ones that succeeded. Today, we know evolution is not a straight ladder. It's more like a branching tree with lots of experiments. Opabinia is one of those ancient experiments, beautiful, 
strange, and important. Was Opabinia one of a kind or part of a larger group of similar animals? For years, only one species, Opabinia regalis, was known. But in 2022, scientists found a fossil in Utah that looked a lot like Opabinia. It was called Utaurora camosa. This suggests there may have been more species in Opabinia's family that we haven't discovered yet. If true, it means the oceans during the Cambrian period might have been full of these strange, trunk-waving, five-eyed animals. Maybe they lived in different parts of the world, each with small changes in shape or size. Maybe some even evolved into entirely new forms we haven't recognized yet. Each new fossil gives us more pieces of this puzzle. Opabinia's story reminds us that the Earth still holds many secrets waiting to be uncovered. Opabinia is a symbol of how mysterious life once was. With its five eyes, backward mouth, and vacuum-like trunk, it challenged everything scientists thought they knew about evolution. It lived over 500 million years ago, but its fossil still has the power to surprise, puzzle, and inspire. It opened the door to new questions about how complex life began and grew on Earth. And the best part? We might not be done with Opabinia's story yet. New discoveries could add more chapters, relatives, and even more mind-blowing creatures to the list. If Opabinia has taught us one thing, it's this. Evolution is full of surprises.